Hello everybody. Uh, today we're going to be going over how to add calibration gas cylinders onto your X dock. So the configuration you see in front of you, um, if you know or don't know, we have modular options. So we can mix different type of meters in with one X dock. We can add modules and take away. So you have right now our pack module for our single gas or dual singles. We have our XAM 2500 or 5000 or 5600 module uh, for these personal units. We also have the module for our XAM 8000, which is also a confined space entry tool. Um, it has a PID in it. You can do up to seven different gases if you need be. So what I have here is a smaller version that I can show you how to add these gases on here and since this is already programmed in and ready to go I'm just going to shut the tops here and let it do a quick bump test while we're going through this smaller unit pretty easy I'll just show you the side is where you're going to hook up your tubing uh, this is still a 6300 so one two three see these are not added in because it's not a 66 so let's go through the front here and as you will see there is a little snowman in the top right corner just click on that and now we want to change the user to admin and we'll enter in the default passcode one two three five six go in and now you see it opens up some more menus you can force a bump test all the way to a calibration but for this video, we're just going to go into the menu right here. You see the gas configuration option. Click on that. Um, see, well, looks like something was already added in. So I'll show you how to take a gas out. You just hit this little X. Push OK. OK. Now there's no gases in there. So we're going to set this one up the same way this unit is set up with a standard four gas and a uh, isobutylene because of the PID. Well, you already see that these have already done their bump test. They've already passed, everything's green. If it wasn't green, if it was red or yellow, that means there was an issue or it failed bump test. So we'll just open these up, let it rest. So we'll start with the four gas on the first valve, which is the same setup that you have on this other unit. So we'll just hit that. And if you get your gases from us, you can put our part number in right here. So the part number for our standard four is four, five, nine, four, six, five, five. Push OK. Boom, it's already populated the four gases right there. Push OK. Now it's assigned to valve one. So let's put the acetylene in valve two. Right here, we'll do it a different way. If you did not get the gas from us, so you don't have a part number, there's a little plus right here for manual entry. Hit right there. So we'll choose the gas type right there. Scroll through here until we come up to isobutylene. Ah, missed it. Da, da, da. I went past it. Da, da, da. Ah, IV right there right there yes I want to change the gas type so isobutylene is in there now so we'll choose the unit which it is ppm and we will choose the concentration which is 100 for our high concentration PID okay boom now you have isobutylene so if all you needed to do while you're in the menu uh, is add calibration gas and we're done to get out of the menu you're gonna hit that little snowman again you're gonna see the exit icon and now you're in the, the main menu alrighty guys well thank you very much hope you have a great day